Hey, what's good on, guys? It's me, Beatery Figs, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, all of my customs, actually, because if you haven't realized, uh, yeah, uh, from my past videos, I did get a bunch of uh, figures from Noah. So, yeah, I just thought I would make this video just showing them off, and I'd just like to apologize again for not uploading. Yeah, I feel like crap right now. Um, uh, yeah, um... It's really hard to, like, because I hate, I hate doing this, like, I, I just really dislike, you know, having to make excuses and stuff like that, because it's an excuse, it's just I haven't, like, when I get out from school, it's just, like, it, I'm just very, like, tired and stuff, it's just, it's, it's hard to kind of explain, I'm sorry, but right now, I've got tests and studying, and it's just, it's just kind of hectic right now in my life, but hopefully, I, I really want to get videos out right now, I'm not going to promise anything, because if I don't do it, I just feel like a dick, so, uh, yeah, guys, I uh, just like bringing this customs collection because this was a video that I wanted to do for a little while. I almost did it on one of my live streams that I did on Instagram, but luckily I stopped myself because I realized this is something I wanted to do on, you know, on YouTube because I thought this is something you guys would like. Uh, so starting off, um, we have Finn Balor, which is a really cool custom that I actually made by myself. Surprisingly, because I've never really been too good at painting. I'm only good at painting just blank stuff, no, nothing really to do with designs. Uh, so this was um, uh, a lot of fun to make, actually. This was my first time actually testing out uh, using... I believe it was um, Mod Podge, yeah, and it's worked phenomenally, it's fine, I believe this was my Roderick Strong, but I just changed it, I believe, uh, but yeah, pretty simple, Elite 32 Cody body, it's kind of self-explanatory, the rest parts, but yeah, just any kick pads, painting the white, the white was really hard to get, because like, I had to do a lot of layers of white, so I could find and get that really good tone, especially it would be a lot harder if it was on black, because black is a dominant colour, but yep, yeah, there is Finn Balor, um, if you're noticing anything different about the um, camera today, it's most because I'm using my Samsung, because I thought, oh no, I thought it would be cool to just uh, test out different things with my videos. But, uh, yep, next is the Anti-Venom Devit that I made out of the Elite 39 Mizdow, which is really cool. Uh, I kind of messed up these feet. I need to remove those designs at some point, because I don't think I can paint over that part. But, yeah, really cool. I made this really cheap, actually. Uh, I believe it was only pounds, six pounds for the head scan, which came on a basic fin, and this body was, I think, ten on it. Amazon. So, yep, yeah, that's pretty cool from that Finn Balor. Uh, speaking of the Damien Sandow body, we actually have a custom that I made a little while ago. It is this one. The, um, kind of a, uh, kind of a, um, I don't know if this was an actual attire he wore, but it, it probably is, because I know that he wore a lot of different attires, but I don't think he wore this exact one with the long boots and these kind of knee pads. This is kind of a custom attire of, um, Damien Sandow. But yeah, this was the Mizdow figure. I just it's the same body mold as this one. But I decided to make a, a kind of an older version when he first got there with the whole genius thing before he came Ms. Dow. And yeah, this is something I'm really enjoying so far because I've had this for such a long time and it's still something that I just really love so much. So yep, there is Ms. Dow. Really like that one. Uh, next we have Joey Ryan, which is a pretty quick and easy simple one that I actually did. And uh, yeah, pretty much his Elite 19 Ziggler body, uh, Rick Rude boots, Rick Rude head scan. I did cut off the hair, I haven't molded anything yet. Looks kind of horrendous at the back, but yeah, I'm not going to show that off. Yeah, it's pretty much just some simple parts, Ziggler arms pretty much, just some black knee pads. And uh, yep, there's Joey Ryan, he's in Lucha Underground if you don't know, and he's great. Yeah, he's one of the uh, more of um, underrated wrestlers, because I feel as if no one really talks about him too much. Uh, next is my custom Mason Ryan that I made. Uh, this was something I really wanted to make because, well, not mostly because I really liked Mason Ryan, mostly because Mason Ryan me, uh, reminded me a lot of Cage. Cage is a Lucha Underground wrestler who does flips, he does some really cool moves, he's also been in PWG, Ring of Honor. So yeah, he's a really cool wrestler, I use him as Cage, but yeah, this is Mason Ryan, it's pretty cool, really simple. Uh, I really like it, I've used it a lot more than it was, than its original body, which is actually a Triple H. So yep, there's Mason Ryan right there next is uh, I think this is my last one but I'm going to show you is probably still one of my favourites in my collection right now I don't know something about this I just did I feel as if I did so well on it but yes yeah, it's Finn Balor which I've gotten a lot of um, great uh, comments about this over the past year two years I think I've had this but yeah really cool this head scan is amazing on this fin and it's a totally different one to the other ones probably the best Finn Balor head scan out there in my opinion really like it I used I use this vibrant red which I got from the Citadel ones as you can tell there was a scratch there which I need to touch up at some point I added a um, decal on the back which kind of got messed up but it kind of looks okay from some certain angles but yep there's Finn Balor I really really like that one too a lot 
Next, we have the, oh god, we have the Street Fight Punk, which is a great figure. I really like this, how this one turned out. I mean, it's, I believe, a year ago. These are Cena lower body. I painted this belt, and I just gave the CM Punk upper body. Pretty much all-star kick pads, because I had them spare. So, yep, there's um Punk. Really like, that's probably one of my better torso cracks I've ever done. And next is one of the things that I got from Noah, was this uh, Hideo Itami, which is a really cool figure. I love these all of these intricate designs that he did all over with the white with the white paint brushing and all of the little logos he managed to do all throughout it's incredible really looking forward to a new Hideo head scan that's actually coming out so that should be really cool to head swap this one I think that will look really really great so yep there's Hideo Atami I'm not sure when he's coming back to um uh, when he's coming back to an NXT, because I, oh god, I don't know, he had the whole injury thing, kind of died out, I don't know, he made a return, I'm not really up to date with Hideo, tell me how he's doing right now. Um, and next is a tag team, and that is the Young Bucks, the Worlds, and I think they won the world's best tag team, I think it's been like three years in a row. But, uh, yep, here's, um, Nick Jackson, which is okay, I guess, and these aren't very good, I know that, guys, so don't hate on me too much. But, yeah, these are okay, I like them, they're a lot of fun to use, so, yep, there's Nick Jackson, and I believe this is, uh, Matt Jackson, so, yep, they're just simple bodies, just some long tied body, bodies with just the random tassels down there. Uh, next we have another custom that was done by Noah, and it is the Jeff Hardy. Um, I, actually, he did the arms and the head scan, and I, all that, I just supplied the rest of the body. I did these feet and belt. This was a shield body with the Triple H, I believe, uh, knees. I think this makes him too tall, so I need to fix the height, because I think I got someone commenting that on one of my Instagram posts. But, uh, yep, here is Jeff Hardy. Really liking this head scan that Noah did. I like how we used the Dean Ambrose one. Cut, makes him look like how he did when he was heel. I like it. It's really cool. I like all this little dry brushing he did all throughout the figure. Really cool. I really... Oh, God. How many times do I say really cool? Yep, so, yeah, uh, yeah, feel free to hate on me about that, guys. So, uh, yep, here is all all of the designs on the on the armbands so uh yep yeah, there's jeff hardy uh next we have i believe yep here is rich swan really cool oh god there i go again really cool what is w with me where's that red smudge come from that's kind of random but yeah that, there's a red smudge there yeah guys deal with it uh so yep here's another figure i got from noah which i really do like i like um all just all, all of this figure i've just really enjoyed so far that i've had it this head scan i really like i really like it it looks a lot like rich one in my opinion i really like this attire that he did random and this is a custom attire that he did for me i specifically asked for like the two designs here actually this might be custom might not be i'm not sure i'm not familiar with every attire that rich one has had over the time uh so yep here's this uh was originally all black and then white here and white on the back and noah decided to repaint that and do these designs which i actually asked him to do because i thought that would look really really cool so yep there's rich swan one of my favorites to be honest uh, next we have one that I just put together really simple, actually. Uh, it was this Kurt Angle one. This is made out of a Jack Swagger right here. And I gave him just some these, just these random arms and a Kurt Angle head scan. Always gave him some stone cold lower bottom, lower knees because I thought that would look cool. So, yep. Here's Kurt Angle. Uh, it's a really simple one. I know he's probably never worn this before. But, yeah, I just really wanted an angle. So, yeah, I decided to do this one. So, yep, there is Angle. Uh, winding down here, we I believe we have four left. Uh, well, no, five left actually. Um, uh, here is Shawn Michaels. This um, Elite 19 uh, head swap and arm swap, which I did. Thought it looked really cool. Uh, made, wanted to make him have the, I believe, the 2004 look. I believe that's what this is based, based on. Like his Survivor Series one when he was, uh, yeah, when he was like feuding with Orton. Wait, I can't remember really too much. But yeah, here's uh, Shawn. Just a quick uh, fix up that I did there. I know a lot of people have done that one. Uh, last, oh, last couple actually, uh, we have Chris Hero, another, uh, Ring of Honor, you know, indie wrestler, which is a really great custom, I believe this was made by Richard D. GWV Wrestling, I believe, on Instagram. He did a great job in this. I really, really do like this one. Uh, I did this elbow pad because I did do this KO one with like a pen, I believe. And yeah, I like all these um Arabic like designs that he's got like around here. I know he's got it's kind of um chipping around there, but it doesn't really bother me too much. It looks fine. And also these trunk designs really great. I like the CH that looks fine as well. Except there's Chris Hero. 
Um, last two we got going, uh, we have Matanza, who, wow, this is something I still really love. I believe I did this in my first trade with Noah, and I just did the head swap pretty much. It, all he had to do was just make this head scan, which I believe was made out for Cesaro, and it looks great. Just looking at this, I think it really looks great. Uh, this was a Rusev, which I also got off of him. I just gave some Undertaker boots, added this, decided to kind of cut away in there, just to make him look more grittier, and uh, yep, yeah, I made this pretty much. It's a lot of fun that I have this now. I like it. Um, Matanza is definitely one of the greatest indie wrestlers that has ever lived, because he just made a huge impact in, in Aztec Warfare one or I think it was Aztec Warfare One. I think it was the first one. So uh, yeah, one of the greatest debuts in wrestling, to be honest, because it was just so powerful and impacting. And yeah, so there's Matanza. Last one, we have Adam Cole, baby. Yeah, uh, we have Adam Cole, pretty much. Uh, this is also done by Noah, as most of these customs are. Um, he also decided to fix up the wrist tape because it was too long. Had the Bullet Club logo, which is absolutely incredible. Wow, hope that hope that's focusing. And also, he also did this head scan. I supplied all of the parts here, except from these uh, elbow pads, these knee pads, and these um, legs that I've got going on here. These are Ric Flair ones. They originally Dolph Ziggler, but I let him swap them out because I really wanted these on there, and I let him keep the Ziggler ones. Um, he also did these for me. Um, and the black kick pads, which is fine, great, done, and dusted. Yeah, pretty much, guys. That yep, yeah, that's that full. Uh, pretty much, guys. That is my little custom collection I got going on here. I know it's not as big as some people's, but uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm not sure when the next video will be out, but yeah, guys, when I have something to show you, or I've got a new idea for a video, I'll let you guys post it. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned to new videos, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. A uh, peace.